Today is a very special day. We're about to start Dark Rise. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and today I need to unload my feelings onto you and just document this journey. <laughs> But if you don't know, I have done a video discussing my predictions for this particular book. And if you don't follow me on TikTok or you haven't been following me here, I'm kind of obsessed with Sam's Picard's work. So, this is a big moment. Now, I got this from Alan and Unwin before the published date. <laughs> This is not a hardback because I also pre-ordered the book and it's only in hardbacks. I don't know why they do that, but this is the paperback. As you can see, she's quite floppy. Also, look at that shiny title. I'm going to be looking in my laptop for this because I don't know what you can see. But And then you have the back. That looks <laughs> like a bit of a mess, but <laughs> it's smoke. This is really cool. And to have it in my hands. I worked hard to get an early copy of this. <laughs> Thank you, Alan Nunwin. The funny thing is, I've also not only pre ordered it, I have also ordered the Rainbow Crate exclusive September box, which is Dark Rise. And it's gonna come with exclusive goodies, so stick around for that. So, this is just a reading vlog today. I will update you with my full on review in another video. Also, no spoilers, this is spoiler free. I started reading in the afternoon instead of this evening, but I am currently 33 pages in. There's Starbursts and Lions. Is that gonna be a symbol carried throughout all her books? I wonder. <laughs> But besides those two little easter eggs, so far I can say that the pacing of this is very good. It just feels very action-packed. Things are moving fast. In terms of world building, I think it's pretty understandable and easy to follow along so far. I found that I was like slow at reading because some descriptions are very thorough and it's kind of hard to imagine when you're not familiar with like in this case it's ship stocking and 1820s stuff like that but it's not a bother so far we have had a glimpse of james and i'm assuming that he is on the bad side will has just gotten captured by the stewards we've met Violet and Tom also also the dots are starting to connect because there's this name mentioned over and over again Simon and At first I was like, okay, Simon's an evil leader of some kind, but then he's also Crenshaw, which is the man that owns a whole trading company or something that Will works for. Then there's like the men chasing Will who have the S branded on their wrist and now it's just all very connected. <laughs> so I, that's all I will say. On to chapter four. Hello, I am on page 50 and immediately Catherine's chapter, I feel like I've been transported into a Jane Austen book. <laughs> The tonal change is so drastic, especially from the scene we left off with Violet and Tom and Will. There's also a 10 year old kid and I immediately screamed because I was like, oh my god, are we going to have another Nick Hayes? <laughs> I remember Picard saying that Elizabeth was one of the main characters. I don't know if she'll stay 10 forever, but she's giving attitude and I am excited. <laughs> he had cut through the men on the ship like hope. Like hope? How does how? Ooh. It is literally taking me forever to get through this damn page because James. He has literally only just walked out of the carriage, but I am obsessed with him. Of course. I just he just has to walk out of a carriage. This elegant boy with boots and looks like he's carved out of marble. I just I can't wait for him to speak. Excuse me? <laughs> we already know where this is going. I'm just- I'm gonna get obsessed with him. <laughs> I don't know if I can sleep now. I don't even know what time it is. Hello, it is the next evening. I am currently 136 pages in on chapter 12. So actually, I've been reading for the whole afternoon. We're at the Citadel. We have been introduced to the stewards and the- what are they called? 
Janissaries. The one thing I will say though is that this is on a whole other scale from Captive Prince in terms of like the amount of characters, the lore, the details of the world building, like it's just a whole other scale and you can see how much it's a big improvement from Captive Prince. Not that Captive Prince didn't have world building but like you can see the difference. Also my cat is cold. Okay, don't bite me. No. No, get off me if you're gonna bite me. <laughs> yeah, no, my cat's being a shit, so. <laughs> also, James. Let's just say he's just getting more interesting the more I hear about him. As you saw, I'm at the 200 page mark and not gonna lie, I feel like I was stuck in that citadel for way too long because I was getting bored. <laughs> but in the same breath, it's still relevant. It's just like, I guess I'm not attached to Will or Violet yet. Because I feel like I don't know them, but this is only a first book, so that's expected. But we're out of the citadel. I think stuff's about to get very interesting because kind of going against the rules. Will's about to walk into Robert Drake's shop and I am keen. <laughs> I have not updated in a very long time. It's been a couple days. 274 pages in. If I remember correctly, there was a Catherine chapter that I did not tell. It will be interesting to see how Catherine's storyline fits in with Will's because whenever it's Catherine's chapters, the tone changes so much because it's like I'm shifting into like from Will's fantasy hero character to this Jane Austen girl played by Ta not Tanya, Anya Taylor-Joy, like from Emma. Like she's giving those vibes because she's all about following the social conventions and being in high society and being proper. Besides that, what can I say without not spoiling things? Shit hit the fan. There were multiple twists in rapid succession and James is back. He's with us now and I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, also actually this is really random but Cyprian reminds me of Aymeric if Aymeric was more of a pompous prick if that's even possible. Take this with a grain of salt, but James is Laurent 2.0. You will see why, especially in the latter half of this book. So you know how I said shit hit the fan? No, shit has hit the fan now. 330 pages in and we are at the lowest point, but James is no longer in our grasp. There has been a sudden POV change and I'm What is gonna happen? This is an entirely new person. I can't say anything, but I'm confused. <laughs> Something weird has just happened. Uh... I could not say this last night because it was late and I was gonna be way too loud, but my cat. So. We have found an object, and I am very intrigued for reasons I cannot say. The only hint I will give is that it's encrusted with rubies. <laughs> Blink if you if you feel the same way. If you know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm hinting at. Because, <sighs> god damn it. Anyway, also James. <laughs> I just update you every time James comes back. <laughs> that is where I'm at. I am just about 400 pages in. There's not much left. Okay, so how do I explain this? Catherine is back and her life has gone into shambles. So now she's back with Will and Violet and Cyprian. I don't know what to expect at this point because all our plans have not gone to plan. <laughs> I'm still emotionally stable. I'm waiting to not be emotionally stable, but I'm not sure. This could go either way. I forgot to mention Elizabeth's eyebrows. They're her key feature. I finished it. I need to process my thoughts because that was not 
what I was expecting. I don't know what to say because I need to like not, I can't give any things just, oh my god. I need a second book and a third book now. You know what? I know the perfect way to summarize that ending. Well, shit. <laughs> Well, shit. So I've sat back for a little bit and I've thought about my thoughts thus having finished it. To summarize it all, this book is just the setup. That ending especially. Oh, how do I describe this? It's not the setup that I was thinking was gonna happen. Picard has flipped it and it's quite angsty and more complicated now. <laughs> so that is all I will say that this has been a journey. I am very keen to see what the next book is gonna be like but we're not gonna get a sequel for a very long time and that's... <sighs> This series to me, I think will only get better with each book because I just feel like that's how it's going to progress. And I'm fine with that. I like slow books like this that build, but oh my God, this is just very promising. I can't wait to see what she does. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. It's 12 a.m. I don't know if I said that before. Thank you for watching. I will update you with my review soon.